Hello, this is John, and I'll be demonstrating how to use AMMYY to connect to a remote computer. Our first step is to go ahead and visit AMMYY.com, like I have here above. And then now we need to download from this link here. Then just go ahead and click Save, and the download should finish up pretty quickly. And then just navigate to where you have it and open it, and then click Run. And now the program is pretty much all available to be used. As you can see here, this is your ID, and this is your regular IP address. To connect to another computer, you would need their ID or their IP. But before we connect to a remote machine, I want to go over some of the features of AMMYY. Some of the features that I want to go over are in the settings section. Here there is access permissions where you can allow certain people access. And you can also control what permissions they have from viewing the screen, remote control, copying clipboards, file manager, voice chat, and RDP. You can add their name, the password, and what screen they have access to, and also files. For right now I'm going to be leaving this the way it is because I'm just using this for private use. Also under here is the operator section. I just wanted to show off the encryption that is available. This is great for businesses, so it will transmit everything 100% encrypted. Passwords, usernames, files will all be encrypted. Also in the network section is the ability to change the port, which isn't a huge deal, but if you want to change it, this is the section you could do it. For now, I'm going to leave everything the way it is. Here, before you connect to a person, you can set the speed so that it looks better on your side and also runs smoother. For right now, I'm going to be leaving it on the 256 KB through 1 megabyte. Here you can see there's also lots of other things we can set it to, like a speed test, the file manager, or a voice chat. But right now, like I said before, we're just going to leave it here. And now I'll be demonstrating how to connect to the actual remote computer. I have the number I need right in front of me, but at this point you need to ask the person what their ID is, or else you might have it stored, so go ahead and enter it now. My ID for my remote computer is 8335 794. I'm just going to go ahead and click enter. And then on the other side, the other person's going to get a prompt that will have accept or reject. And you can have them push accept and it will allow 100% access. Okay, and as you can see now, this is my home desktop. The window doesn't quite fit because it's a different aspect ratio. But that's okay because the screen will scroll along with your mouse up and down so everything will fit. Right now I have it full screen so it will scroll with the screen even easier. To turn that on and off you can push control, alt, shift, and F and that will switch it back into the regular mode. Now that we have the toolbar back I just want to go over some of the features on it. This is the connection settings. Here you can adjust some things with the mouse. You can also get more information on the computer that you're connected to. Next to it here is the connection encoder, and this will change settings on how good the quality or poor the quality is on the images being sent to your computer from the remote computer. Next to the encoder is the file manager. Here we can send files back and forth similar to an FTP. You can go to anywhere on your hard drive, and then anywhere on the remote hard drive, and transfer files back and forth. This is great for transferring drivers, or if somebody forgot a file, there's really no limit to how this could be used. This next icon is for voice chat. I'm not going to use that right now because it will scramble up my voice. But here you could talk through your own microphone and the other person could talk through theirs and you guys could communicate about what's going on on the screen. This section here is for full screen. And it also mentions the key command that I talked about before, the control alt shift f in order to put it on full screen which is nice so that it's like you're sitting there. Here you can force a refresh of the remote computer screen. Sometimes it'll get jobbled up and it won't look right and you can force a new refresh. Here you can push the control key remotely. Here you can do the control and ESC. And here you can send ALT. So from these 
you can do many key commands. And here is also the control delete request. So that you can do task manager or any other things like locking the computer or logging off. At this time, I would like to conclude my video on AMMYY. Thank you for watching this demonstration, and please watch my other videos here on this YouTube channel as well. Thanks again. Goodbye.